followed by Joel Embiid. So not only has Nikola Jokic been averaging a triple-double while being the most efficient player in the entire NBA, he's been doing it while his team has had the best record in a Western Conference. What does that tell you? It tells you his triple-doubles are needed. They're not empty stats. And supplemented by the fact that the Denver Nuggets are 25 and 1 when Nikola Jokic drops a triple double. They're almost undefeated when he drops a triple double. What does that tell you? These are not empty numbers. They're not unlike Russell Westbrook, who would put up a triple double and his team would lose. He did it while he was playing with the Wizards. He did it for four years, never really got anything out of it. This is not the same with Nikola Jokic. He's actually being a beast and it's showing in record. And another thing he has over Joel Embiid is the fact that he's played more games than Joel Embiid. Call me off fashion, but I like when my MVPs, I like when my star players, when my most valuable guy actually plays games, right? I like that. I know some people may not count that and some people don't care about that anymore with load management going on these days. I like that in a player. And Nikola Jokic is the type to show up with his hard hat, lunch pail, and go to work day in, day out. I like that in an MVP. Speaking of playing games, that brings me to my next point. Nikola Jokic isn't the one that backed down from a showdown that would have ended this debate between Joel Embiid and Nikola Jokic for MVP. So on Monday, the Philadelphia 76ers played the Denver Nuggets in Denver in a game in which many thought was going to be the deciding factor for who was going to get the MVP. Because you have to understand, these two guys are now neck and neck that whoever outplayed the other on Monday would have gotten this trophy. In my opinion, I think that Nikola Jokic is just a bit tad higher than Joel Embiid, but if Joel Embiid had showed up and then beat, I would have been fine if Joel Embiid got that trophy over Nikola Jokic because the last time they played, which was about a month ago, in Philadelphia, Joel Embiid got the better of Nikola Jokic. He dropped 43 points to Nikola's 27 points. So if he had come to Denver and did it again, I would have been fine if he won that trophy over Nikola Jokic. But that didn't happen. What did Joel Embiid do? He decided to miss that game. He just sat that game out. He wasn't injured. It wasn't a personal problem. He sat that game out because of he needed time off. And to me, you can't die. That, that doesn't fly. An MVP doesn't do that. An MVP doesn't back down from a battle with the guy that's directly competing with him for the MVP. Do you think Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan would have done any of that? They would have never dreamt of doing that. Kobe Bryant once embarrassed Steve Nash by dunking over him because Steve Nash won back-to-back -back MVP and the last MVP he'd won was over Kobe Bryant and Kobe felt he deserved it. That's how competitive he was. Michael Jordan used Charles Barkley winning the MVP as fuel to win the championship. Those guys are real competitors. Real competitors show up. Joel Embiid didn't. I take that into consideration. And I'm not the only one that took that into consideration. NBA voters, the people that vote for these trophies, took that into consideration. One of these people being Kendrick Perkins. He tweeted out, I'm going to take this into consideration that you missed, that Joel Embiid missed out on a game that would have been the deciding factor. And you can't just do that, right? You can't just do that. And because of all these reasons, that's why I give the edge to Nikola Jokic. I think he deserves it for the third year running. And a, a reason why he's been getting a lot of pushback is because again, about a month ago, the media realized that Nikola Jokic was going to do something that Michael Jordan or LeBron haven't done, which is which is three PT MVP trophy. It hasn't been done since 1984. And I watched live as the media did a 180 on Nikola Jokic. To me, that says behind the scenes politics and the media trying to manipulate narratives. If you, but yes, those are just my thoughts. If you like this kind of content, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below if you disagree with me or not and actually give your reasons as to why you think Joel Embiid deserves it. But yeah.